to change or the laws must be enforced. People have to change too. I mean, if, if you enforce it, yeah, you you abuse. I mean, in, if you are driving in this country and you make a mistake, there's a camera to catch you, and they send you a ticket because they have planned. Yeah, they have money to make cameras. So everywhere. if people are made to pay for their their mistakes, their mistakes, their people will learn. Maybe they will learn. But it becomes political. If you bring this measure, then they, they read the politics. They won't, they won't vote for you next time. You become very unpopular. So it's like a vicious circle, Mister. Mr. Yes. So Look at Ghana, yeah. Accra. Accra is is overcrowded. There's a new uh, 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 mayor in Accra. Mm -hmm. He came from America. He brought his ideas. He was going to break certain houses, make streets, make Accra clean and neat. He started, and then the president called him and said, "Stop it." Politics, because they are not going to have votes. So, this but this is something all the political yeah. parties should come together and do. Uh, so it's just like a lack of a national uh, orientation. And we don't have a national policy. This is what we want as a country. Yeah. I mean, in uh, Holland, the people, uh, no matter what political party you belong to, if it's a good cause, they all support, they all support it. So but not here. Yeah. So if uh, I'm going to ask you another question, please. If the president should call uh, people like you for advice, what are the things you are going to suggest to him? Proper planning. Yeah. Every child who is born must be registered. Registration of birth. Yes. Okay. So you know the actual population. Okay. Address system. The address should be okay. Yeah, yeah. The address system is very important. Mm -hmm. So that if you go and commit crime, they will easily know you. Like here. Okay. So long as you are here, hmm? you you have an address. You have an address. Which is a policeman the will take your identity and know where you stay. Which no, your not, house. Which is not the case in Ghana. No. Address system is bad. Is he a Ghanaian? You don't know. You don't know. You, you understand what I mean? Okay. So the first thing they have to do, childbirth must be registered. It's a proper registration. Proper addressing system. Mm -hmm. So that we can walk and put a letter in your address. If you are driving a car, we know that is your address. You send a letter to your address. It also makes an economic sense. It does. The yeah. government can harness the economy yeah. the government can get a lot of revenue mm -hmm. from bad driving if you drive bad yeah. cameras will take you they know your address bring but a bail also how do you plan without knowing the population of the people that is the problem that's why i'm saying yeah then i'm getting the logic of your argument yes though. if you don't know how can you plan if you don't know the population yeah you the population yeah. the country has is what they used to, to plan. plan for resources yes. to allocate now the they can't plan anything because of Population, they don't know how many. Who are so, guess, there. So, guess what? so, how much money are you going to put in school in children, health. Yeah. health, and so on? It becomes very ambiguous. I mean, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's also uh, very serious issues you are raising here yeah? because here yeah, you can ask, uh, Oh, I live at so, so, uh, Pretoria Street number this and that. In Ghana, people start describing to you where, where do you live? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to go there's to the a sign board here, you have to go and to the you have to go to no, that's wrong. It is, it's time we change those things. It must change in Ghana. They have started. I don't know how far they will, they will go, but I support it. Unless the politics enter into it again. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we who are here, and most of these politicians have been to Europe, America. That's the saddest part of it. They've lived in uh, these countries, in Europe, and they see what is happening. Uh, they see, but they, they don't take part of it. Most of them come and study and go. Mm. Those people only see few things. Few things. But those of us who have stayed here, rub our shoulders with these white people, and know how their system works. We can easily carry through. Okay. Once I told a minister in Ghana that look, mm -hmm. there must be a ministry for diasporians. I think uh, was that not uh, this idea was suggested some times ago. It's not going far. It's not going far. But they need our ideas. Also, your resources. Yes, and there are so many things. They are getting a lot of money from us here in Africa. Mm -hmm. A lot of money. You know, so we are resourceful people. We are very important yeah, to the component economy. of. Uh, yes, you should form part of the company yes. of the national planning. The money we send to Ghana is the third highest uh, uh, foreign exchange. In, in, uh, I thought there was this debate of uh, creating a ministry of uh, diaspora affairs and also to make uh, the diaspora. Uh, That's what they have to do. We will send our ideas there. Anytime I go, I can go there. Yeah. Suggest something to them, and then they can implement it.
Um, please, uh, what are you uh, Ghanaians doing here? Yeah? Do you have an association that can channel this idea yes, today? Yes, we have just started doing that. You know? Okay. And uh, in the Kufo government, he invited the Asporians to Ghana to come and invest, to bring our uh, ideas back to Ghana. Okay. Many people went. It helped the country. Okay. But now, uh, because this new government came and they had other problems, the thing is collapsing. It's collapsed. There's no sustainability. And everybody is back. Hmm? There's, no, uh, there's no way to sustain it. No. Lack of continuity. Yeah. That's another problem. We have another that. problem. Africa will lack that one. Lack of continuity. As soon as the government comes in and they, dis, uh, they dismantle the old structure yes. of yes. the previous one. They, make well, longer, they may think, oh, this government brought it to so, well, mm. let them go. Mm. That, that doesn't help. But uh, for, uh, you said you are trying to revive the idea of. Uh, yes, I talked uh, to one minister and uh, they are talking about it now. It was very important. Yeah, Our ideas are very important. If you look at, uh, if you take the case of Israel, they depend a lot of uh, the Jewish outside uh, Israel. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And, and uh, their policies are up to date. Their policies yeah. are good. Yeah. It's helping the population. We they send money, money in there, and the policies are good. It takes off from there, yeah. and it's good. good, good. So but only you send money, and you don't see the wealth of it. Point of it yeah. Look, I told one organization, a Ghanaian organization here, that. If the government should ask anybody who is staying outside the country to donate one dollar every month, it's a lot of money. Yeah. But then you have to make us the feel like we are part, part of it. Of it yeah. uh, may I ask you in this um, community, how many Ghanaians uh, live in the Bell? You have a rough about, about ten thousand. Ten thousand. And uh, Amsterdam? In Amsterdam will be about fifteen to twenty thousand. Eh? Okay. So if uh, every one of them is contributing uh, one euro a month, you can multiply it. You can multiply. That's, that will be the, that's yeah. only in Amsterdam. It's in, only in Holland, yeah. Amsterdam. What about UK? A lot of Ghanaians there. A lot no. of Nigerians there. No. Go to the U, U, UK, U, US. Uh, go to Germany. There are many. There was a quotation, I don't know how you, will, how you see it, that uh, the problem we face in Africa is not lack of resources, but uh, lack of vision. Our leaders, they sometimes, don't. sometimes we, they will have the vision, but like uh, you just mentioned, how we can generate money from our diaspora. I mean, one euro is nothing for you if the government of Ghana asks you, please contribute to one yeah. million. Maybe they have a special project coming there for seven. Yes, you know, people are scared that when you send the money, that one money, euro they will misuse it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. One minister will sit in the room and then use yeah. it with family and so on, yeah. holidays and so on. Yeah. We want to know what they are going to use yeah. our money for. Why don't you take uh, think of a project? Let's say uh, diaspora, uh, Ghanaian diaspora in the Netherlands want to go and finance this project. <coughs> that will not be possible. When it will only be possible when we come together as one people. Okay, if, are you but I know when somebody's in Germany and I'm here. Hey, I'm talking so about the government Germany. can do that. Okay. That this is what we want. This is what we are going to use your money for. Yeah, it's yeah. viable. We will we'll do it. Yeah, it's for the nation. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Say, for yeah. granting us uh, this You're interview. Welcome, you yes, say, thank you very much for watching the Focus on Africans today. Uh, the policy makers back home are also watching and taking notes of uh, some of these ideas. Actually, we have no business being poor in Africa, given our resources. We have almost everything. So the idea of uh, people still uh, 53 years after independence, people still uh, lacking water and uh, electricity, still struggling for food to eat, it should, have, should have been a thing of the past. If we are listening to people like Mr. Stephen Osei, who are prepared to share their ideas with us. The program is focused on Africans. My name is Femi Akomolafe. I've been working with uh, Smaila Sulemana, Mariano Noboye, Remy Akomolafe, and uh, Grey Westerfeld. Until next week, when we come away with another edition, I say, Ireo.